Hi everybody, uh, this is Jared Clowery, the beginner pool lessons, and before I get to the table, I just wanted to do a quick little video on equipment and things you should have. Uh, assuming you're a beginner and you haven't played too much pool, but you're getting into it, maybe leagues, maybe part-time, maybe you got a table in your house you never use or stuff like that, uh, if you want to get better at pool uh, equipment and it's very important, obviously, a straight stick, a two-piece stick. You're going to be traveling around or moving around. Two-piece stick is the way to go. And you can go anywhere from a $25 two-piece stick all the way to thousands. It's, you know, it's just crazy. And if, if you're getting into buying pool sticks, uh, it can get confusing. So I can just give you a few ideas on what's helped me along my way playing pool on choosing pool sticks. Obviously, a straight pool cue is is uh, the most important, but there's other things. Some people like lighter pool cues. Some people prefer heavier pool cues. Myself, I'm right in between. I like a 19 or a 20 ounce pool cue. And then also the tip. And once again, just like cues, you can buy a cheap, you know, I think LaPros or Elk Masters are the cheapest all the way to like, you know, $30, $40 tips for pool cues. Me personally, what works for me the best is I like a, a soft to a medium layered tip. Uh, originally, I liked Mori the most, but now there's so many out there, and I just try different ones. They, they average probably about 20 bucks a piece. Um, but right now, I'm shooting with a Kamui brown medium with a clear backer, and... Uh, you know, again, you don't have to get into all the stuff, you know, fancy stuff, stuff that I like. Or, you know, you can just try them out. They get good $10 tips out there. A good medium tip uh, is good. Not to ramble too much on. Obviously, a, a pool case, uh, depending on how expensive your pool cue is, you might want to get a hard case. Uh, you know, but a hard or a soft case with a compartment to carry gloves, powder, uh, sandpaper, tip tool, etc., um, I'll make another video showing you everything I got in my case, and hopefully that helps you out uh, with what you should have. Um, okay, so assuming you have the right equipment, pool case, uh, glove, etc., you're ready to learn, you're ready to practice, uh, then you need a place where you can practice. Um, if you don't have a pool table at your house, uh, there's a lot of local pool halls, a lot of VFWs have uh, pool tables, a lot of private clubs have pool tables. Um, you know, then get to that table and we'll start practicing. Um, that was just a video, make sure you know about equipment. Um, I'll get a little more in depth as lessons go on, but as a beginner, just make sure you got a good straight cue. Um, you know, like I said, anywhere from twenty-five to thousand dollars you can spend, and, and they're all good. And make sure they got a good tip on them, and you keep it clean and, and, and take care of it. And even the cheaper ones can last years and years. So that's it for now. Till the next time, stay low and hit them slow.